Market penetration is the subject uh, for this video. Now, this is a, market penetration is something you're going to talk about in relation to things like market segmentation uh, and market share, which are different concepts. But let's start with market penetration. Market penetration is how much of the total market has purchased uh, the type of product that you are selling. It doesn't necessarily have to be your product, it just means how, much, how many of the customer, potential customers out there for your product have bought either your product or a similar product. Um, and we'll talk about exactly how that manifests itself, but that's the uh, short definition. It's always referred to as a percentage of the total market. So, you know, market penetration in this market is 40 to 50 percent penetration. Now, it doesn't mean share, which refers to how much of the market you or your company might control. Uh, this is just general penetration. Important concepts here, are, um, so that means that some percentage of this market doesn't use the product yet, uh, if the market's not 100% penetrated. Um, so that's another concept we'll talk about in a moment. But Also, the percentage of penetration increases when customers convert from the old way of doing things to the new way of doing things. So typewriters versus computers. Uh, when a person buys a computer and throws away their typewriter, that penetration for computers goes up, that penetration number. Uh, also, that means that this sale, in order to move your market penetration number, is an educational sale, not a replacement sale. Meaning you're not selling them a better computer in this case. You're, sell you're saying, hey, you need a computer instead of a typewriter, and here's why. So it's an educational sale. So remember, penetration just refers to how much of the market is using a product like yours or your, or your product. So let's look at some examples. Uh, we'll look at a low uh, a product that is, has low penetration and a product that has a high penetration. So an example of a, a product that right now has a low penetration uh, is flat panel televisions. I made this number up, but say 44% of the U.S. households have a flat panel television. That means that there are still 54% uh, of the market that does not. So when someone says, what's the market penetration for flat panel TVs? The answer would be 44%. For, and it doesn't matter whether they have Sony's or Toshiba's or um, you know, any other sort of flat panel maker. It just matters that 44% have a flat panel television. So let's look at a high uh, percentage uh, penetrated market, so like cell phones. So 95% of U.S. adults, again I'm making this up, but 95% of U.S. adults own a cell phone. Um, you know, there's not much market left there. There's 5% left, but cell phones are everywhere. They're super cheap. There's probably a reason why those folks don't have cell phones. So you'd start to say that this market is penetrated. Remember, smartphones would be a different percentage. How many people have smartphones? Maybe 15 or 20 percent of Americans have smartphones. So there's still a huge percentage of Americans that do not. Um, hence the growth rates around um, expected smartphone usage and smartphone uh, purchases in the future. Very penetrated, not so penetrated. So let's look at a, a, any market. Let's take um, the flat panel TV market, for example. This is the difference between sort of penetration and market share and how much you own. Um, right here, you've got your product. Uh, roughly, you know, 35% of the people out there are using your product. And then another chunk are using your competitor's product. So about 40% of these people aren't using any product at all. So what would the market penetration be of this type of product? You would have 60% penetration for people using flat panel TVs. Let's say this is Sony and this is Toshiba. Um, those numbers are different. That's market share. Uh, but market penetration would be 60%. You've got a 60% penetrated market. So the key here is how much of the total market is using a product like yours uh, or that type of product. And how do you make that go up? Uh, by converting people who aren't using that product to use that product. Uh, and when you talk about penetrated markets and market penetration, you're talking about, hey, does everyone in the world already use a product?